Hey folks, welcome back to Dylan's Outdoors. It is Sunday, it is Mother's Day, so it is Sunday fun day on top of Mother's Day. Tab's out here getting a little sun. Gunner is in the sandbar. We're still breaking in the Tahatsu a little bit. And we're on the Edisto River. We stopped here to let Gunner get out, cool his feet off a little bit. We just poking along, taking our time. We will be cooking the seed and nothing fancy, just some Mother's Day stuff. But hey, y'all stay tuned for more, and we'll give y'all a little bit more of our journey here in a little bit. Edisto River. We in Bamberg, South Carolina. Okay. All right, folks, we're still on our little journey. We're going to share a little bit with you. So we've been at the sandbar. Yeah, we've been at the sandbar with some friends. Um, they didn't want to be on video, so respect for them. A couple of them didn't want to be on with their kids, so out of respect, we didn't video anything because that had been fun. They were having a blast. Gunner had a blast. He's sitting eating Cheez-Its. But uh, now we decided it ain't but 3.30. 30. So we're just easing along. We're going downstream. We're going to go a little ways. Um, it's a beautiful ride. Enjoying the day. So we get home and cook. But we're in no hurry. Tatsu still running great. No problem. Um, I kind of assume I'm not giving it no real heck in here. You know, it has kicked up hitting some trees, going across some trees and stuff, obviously. But uh, we're not we're not going like wide open or nothing like that and crazy. So. And then trust me, this is a test for one in this current, plus, you know, hitting stuff. But, uh, this season long enjoying the day. But we're still, uh, letting it ease along. We're not, we're not putting no punishment on wide open or nothing like that. It's basically been basically like you see it right now, or I get it where it'll plane out, and I'm still backing off the throttle where it's probably like maybe 2,500 RPMs, I'm, I'm guessing. So, and I run it like that for a little bit and I back off of it again, so. But quiet, no complaints. We can actually listen to our radio. Yeah, we, we can listen to our music as we, we creeping down and actually have our, and really you can listen to music off your phone, but we got a stereo system in here today. We have no fishing rods, no fishing poles. There are speaker system in here, our so. Our boss system. Yeah, our boss system in here, so. So we're just enjoying the day. Y'all stay tuned. We get back and get landing. Get the cooking. We'll get back with you. In a song, hanging out with Mary Jane, but she's making the time go slow. Making memories with my buddies through the thick green smoke. All right, folks, I'm to show y'all some ducks. Don't know if you can see them. There's a mama and babies all up in them bushes right there. Good ducks. And by now, you're not going to see them because they are so camouflaged. But here you go. We're going to give y'all a little view. Seen them, we figured we'd throw the camera on real quick. I throw the boat in the but she's hiding her babies, so. Yeah, they went all up in the roots and stuff. Uh, we still the season long. We're going with the current. We're going downstream. Literally, my boat's in forward, but I ain't even having to give it no gas or nothing. We're just season long. So, enjoying the scenery. It's pretty. Tatsu still purring like a kitten. We cut the music off because we can't have music on. Only 15 YouTube, seconds. YouTube, only 15 seconds. So we'll give you a little bit and then cut it off. So, but uh, we're still just season long enjoying it. Edisto River, Bamber, South Carolina, which actually probably we're uh, probably done made a little actually we're probably no i don't know actually we have we're still in bamberg county um as far as the river goes because um 
there is a bridge you have to hit and go underneath before you get out of Bamberg County. So, but now that I think about it, so oh, beautiful. It gets even lower though where we put in at. Um, we won't be able to put in because the land is a little rough because we put up in a hole. Stuff like that you have to watch for. So you gotta have a tough motor to come in here. Your boat hits it, slams it forward, slams it reverse. I mean, it bounces y'all around. See them little rapids right there? There's a log right there. I mean, a good motor. Make sure you have a, a kick plate, something where your motor can kick up. If you do hit something, don't come here with no motor it's locked in one position. If you do, you want something that's gonna kick up by all means. If you ain't got something that's gonna kick up, I recommend you do not bring your boat in here. So, you want something that's definitely gonna kick your motor up. It's gonna, it's gonna save you big time. Unless you're paddling in a canoe or something or a kayak. But if you got a motor on a boat, have a kick plate or make sure 100% that your motor, if you don't have a kick plate, make 100% that uh, your motor will kick up that you don't have it locked or anything like that setting on a setting locked down because um you will rip it off in the Edisto River or some of the other rivers even even the Cumbie get down to the Cumbie or Ashy Poo there are stuff down there you can hit believe it or not and yes it will rip your motor off of your boat or your transom off of the boat vice versa so, but like I say, when I say a kick plate, I'm gonna try to give you a little better example. Let me get around this little bend right here we're going around. And literally we're just idling around. So I'm gonna give you a glance. All right, this that is bolted to my boat, this is a kick plate. There's a chain between here and there and safety pins so it won't kick up so high. That is what my motor is bolt, bolted, bolted to. Um, I'll show you out of the water when we get back to the land just to give y'all heads up for people that do come down here you know you have you need that and a lot of people run um, I think they call them skid plates where you can adjust your motor up and down to in your water depth we don't have that we just have a kick plate but that is a lifesaver if you're gonna run these kind of waters but uh Hey, y'all stay tuned. We're going to keep creeping on around. We're having a good time. Tabby got control of the boat. You driving, honey? Yeah, baby. <laughs> so, and like I said, it's beautiful, beautiful scenery. Beautiful sandbar. Daddy lets mama be the captain yeah. since it's Mother's Day. Yep. So, and, and once again, happy Mother's Day. It is Sunday fun day, we will be cooking, but it is Sunday fun day, happy Mother's Day, and we will be cooking when we get to the house. But uh, hey, we're not done yet. We'll, uh, we'll finish this video up here after a while. All right, folks, one of the cool options I didn't show, there's a little red tab on these motors. And, uh, let me get it over. Let me get it steered up the way I want it to go. It's pretty cool, though. It's not like a cruise control on a boat. Uh, there's some functions I haven't messed with yet, but anyway, this red tab right here, you slide over, you slide it, it locks your steering up, and you can make this thing as stiff as you want it, you can put it in position you want. You got an island like we have right now, we're just, we're just literally just, we're just eating along, enjoying the scenery, some of these places, um, some of these people's beautiful places down here, they got some nice places and stuff, and uh, anyway, you, you can lock that motor in, and um, you can literally just kind of set it. I'm going to set it kind of just straight, kind of where I want to head. And um, I'm going to take my hands off of it. There's no one steering this boat. I can literally set it. I can kind of touch it up a little bit to make sure. It stays but it stays. It don't, it don't jerk around running. And it don't flip flop and stuff. I mean, I can literally, here you go. There's no one touching our boat motor. I'm going to walk to the front. All right. Take the butt. I mean, Real we're just up. easing along. Literally, and no one's holding the motor, and no one's steering it. And don't get me wrong. Now you, you know you got bends and stuff in your river, but uh, like right now we're literally headed straight that way. So I'd, I'd go back there, but I mean just putting along if you got to do stuff, and yeah, it's, it's it's really nice. That is a convenient thing they do have on these new motors now. So uh, which is new to us. 
So some of y'all have newer motors beyond a 2023. It's new to us, but um, I'm sure y'all might have them, but pretty cool. Pretty cool little option for a tool handle. All right, folks, we're on the sandbar. We start off with uh, four of us. A man right there. We're chilling out. Him and his girlfriend pulled up. And then we have all these boats on this little old sandbar. Oh, there's another boat coming. Look here. All kinds of boats, different boats. Chilling. Mr. Blake over here in person. What's up, Blake? Chilling. A little boat running by. We a little cut though, nothing but literally, literally nothing but a little sandbar. Pull makes a little cut and runs back. The main runs right here, and um, we're pulled up. So, gunners down here playing. Got the ladies over here. Eight for three. You got twenty head of guys out here. Yeah, twenty head of guys. But this, look, this ratio is a little messed up. 20 head of guys, but you got Gunner's the smartest one out of all of them. Look where he's at. He's in between all the three lovely ladies that are out here, right? He's got Mama, little lady he met today, and another one just pulled up. And he's the only guy between all these ladies. He's smart. And look here. Look here, fellas. Look. And you got a whole group of them over here. The yep. only smart one. Uh, <laughs> Alright, we'll get back with you. We just showing you a little sandbar action. Back to Dylan's outdoors. Here's our uh, kick plate where I was explaining to you. You have a chain, the motor mounts to your kick plate, kick plate kicks back. Um, most people do have a lock system on their motor, so yeah, they will kick back regardless if you don't.